<laughs> Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to Sunshine Acres. I'm Jason. I'm Kara. Uh, this is exciting because this should be, this will be, this will be our last video uh, that we do for the exterior of Sunset Cabin. We won't have another one for the River Rock? I was going to do everything in this one. Oh, so this is the last one. That was the game plan. Okay, sorry if I missed the game plan. Sometimes I do. Anyway, uh, this should be last video we do for the exterior of Sunset Cabin and then we'll move to the inside. Um, so this will be shot in a couple clips, but what we've got left on the list, we've got a few miscellaneous pieces of trim to do. Uh, we've got a little bit of caulking to do, touch up stain, uh, a few loose boards, um, glue in that last run of shingles on the wood storage. Um, just, so just kind of buttoning things up and then we're kind of getting construction materials out of here. So this is going to look, you know, more like a, a, I don't know. A finished product. A finished product, yeah. more of a campground feel, a little cabin in the woods. Less of a construction site. Yeah, so it should look really good at, at the end of this. So. Uh, like I said, we'll shoot this in a couple different segments, so come along and hope you enjoy.
this thing seems real solid without that board. It's not going anywhere. Oh, it's fine, yeah. Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Sunshine Acres. Uh, Jason here. I'm actually rolling solo this morning. Miss Kara's on her way to the airport. Uh, pick up a family member for a little holiday visit. Um, exciting day today. So far in this video, you've seen us uh, do some miscellaneous 
finish up items on Sunset Cabin and today I've actually got the dump trailer with me and I'm headed back to Visions Landscape Supply in Monroe, North Carolina. Uh, we tried to give a shout out to these guys. This is the same place that we got our uh, the stone stairs for Sunset Cabin. So, I mean, they've got everything, you know, uh, landscape materials, uh, you can get driveway stone and all that. So today we're gonna be picking up uh, the Tennessee River Rock to go around Sunset Cabin. And we're gonna be getting like five, four to five tons of that and get that spread out. And then we're gonna be real close to having the outside of this cabin buttoned up. So come along. We showed this in a previous video when we were over here getting the stairs, uh, but this is the Tennessee River Rock three quarter by inch and a half. So we're gonna get uh, 2.5 cubic yards of that, throw it in the dump trailer, and a little Christmas surprise for Miss Care. I got three loads of driveway stone. That'll probably get delivered tomorrow as well. So get that, get the driveway looking good. Tried to jump out quick, but um, got caught in a little traffic here. But that's uh, that's two yards. He's got another half bucket coming. Here he comes now with our last half bucket. load of stone there. Yeah, it was way more than a half a bucket on that thing. That guy hooked me up. So, see how she pulls, getting ready to head to the house. All right, made it back to Sunshine Acres down here at the bottom of the driveway. Um, I. I don't know. I, I contemplated trying to drive my truck and trailer up this trail, but um, that didn't last long once I really took a look at it. So I've got jacked in here. Um, so it'll be a, a little ways to haul this stone uh, with a tractor, but I think this is uh, probably about as good as I can I can get. So it'll take a minute, but it'll look good once it's done. Come on, baby. made her squeal. So I've not watched that video clip yet, but uh, that thing was it was squealing a little bit. That's the heaviest load I've had in there yet. But looks good.
do a little walk around the landscape stone sunset cabin There's the brute force raker, Miss Carol. We got her done. Looks good, baby. Yes, I'm super excited. It looks All right, everybody. I think we are going to call this a wrap for the exterior of Sunset Cabin. Uh, I've got everything. I uh, showed a quick video earlier, uh, getting the CMU block out of here, the compressor, the generator. Uh, we're starting to get the tools from the inside, uh, get those out temporarily. Uh, so I think our next step is to go inside and do, I think we're gonna end up probably doing spray foam insulation. So I, I want everything out. Everything I've done the research on that says it makes a huge mess. So we're just gonna hit the reset button on Sunset Cabin and get ready to do that. But we'll do a quick walk around here. Like I said, got everything blown off. Uh, I did a walk around with the landscape stone. I think that looks really good. That was a Tennessee River Rock from Visions Landscape Supply. Um, you can check out our other, other videos, but our stone stairs, landscape edging, bark siding, all the trim that we did from lumber we had milled up out here. I don't think we comment on your lights, baby. No, I don't think so. That was a Christmas present. I really wanted some you know, kind of redneck camper lights. And Jason got me these cute little lights that blink all sorts of colors and do little dances. So yeah, we'll, super we'll fun. get a, we'll get another video up of that, or at least some pictures maybe on the back end of this. To, it's a, yeah, it is what it is. I like it. I do too. That's why I got them for you. Redneck, but classy <laughs> version. Yeah, this is it. We went a little wider uh, on our path on these two sides of the cabin. Ultimately, I think we'll have a, a generator here outside of the construction one, uh, more like a permanent RV type. And we want to be able to get back to here in case it's raining or whatnot and, and have a platform here. Um, also on the back side here, just wanted to be able to clear the eave and make sure we get, you know, all the water that comes off should drain into this rock. Keep all the weeds, rodents, everything out away from the cabin. So it should be pretty self-sufficient here. You did a great job getting everything cleaned up, honey. Finished up our last couple videos. We're getting the wood storage done. So I think we're all very happy with that. Um, nice, simple design. Functional. Looks yeah. good. I like it. Keep our wood nice and dry. We had a nice fire last night, lit right up. Yeah, I think that's about it uh, for the walk around. So, I don't know, it's a little bittersweet. We were talking the other night. I'm a little sad that the outside of the cabin's done. I mean, it's been 13 months working on this, uh, but it's time to move inside. There's a lot of fun work yet to do. Yep. So we'll sit on our our old man chairs up here and uh and old lady chairs well i wasn't gonna say that i was <laughs> trying that. to be nice yeah, as soon as i was phrasing that in my head i was like that's not gonna come across well it's so funny <laughs> but we'll sit in our chairs and, and do a sign off so that's it we're gonna put a wrap on the exterior of sunset cabin um appreciate y'all joining us and watching these videos it's if you been fun adventure <laughs> for sure. Yes, yeah, this has been a good one. There's some activities we do out here that aren't as fun as others. Um, and even some of the activities with this, I mean, I didn't really enjoy doing the lattice or some of that stuff, but overall, this has just been a really, really fun project. Yeah, and it turned out super cool, I think. I mean, the bark siding was fun to have Jayla and Ella come down here. Our daughter and our niece be like, oh my God, it's real bark siding on your cabin. <laughs> It's just super cool. Yeah, I love it. Well, I, I think for us also, it kind of got us back to activities that we were doing before the house build. 
because we're you know building house up until you know the spring of 2020 and we enjoy doing this stuff better i mean we have more control over it it's our input our design um done how we want to do it and the house build is you know obviously you got other people involved with that so um yeah super excited um on to the next adventures I'm excited to move inside. I know you're thinking it's a little bittersweet, but that's going to be fun decorating and making a little tiny home. No, it'll look good. So we'll probably, yeah, be a couple weeks gap here, but uh, we'll get back on the cabin soon. So we hope you join us for those videos and um, hope you like these videos. If you do, leave a comment. Uh, please hit the subscribe button, tell your friends, and thanks for being here. Bye.